In this video, I just wanted to go over some of the extensions that I'm going to be using with Visual Studio Code. If you open up the extension panel, uh, here are all the different extensions that I'm going to be using. Like Angular 5's, uh, like files actually gives you the option to create components within your solution. Like for example, right here, if you go and right click, and here you can generate different Angular components. I'm not going to be using this personally. The reason is, is not everybody's going to have Visual Studio Code and or be using this plugin or this extension. So what I'm going to do is do everything from the command line when I create components and services and things like that. Just keep in mind there are extensions out there that will uh, help you do that a lot easier. And then also if we go check out the rest of the extensions, like here are the different Angular extensions that I'm using. And then what is very important is this one right here. Like uh, this will let you know if there's errors within your code, things like that. So you definitely want to pull these in, these C sharp extensions. And then also for visual effects, um, I, I really like this material icon theme. This gives you these nice icons right here, really cool. And then if we go back here, and then also this one, bracket pair colorizer, really nice. Uh, it adds the colored brackets so you can, you know, visualize things better. And that's really nice. So these are all the different extensions I'm going to be using with throughout all these videos. Now in the next video, what we're going to do is start building out our database. And what we're going to do is create a data access layer and put all our database stuff in there. And we'll start on that in the next video. So I'll see you then.